a happy lockdown poem. To Dad, with love and birthday blessings. From quirky Brighton to QB, Vancouver Island, touching down in Ottawa and Regina, Saskatchewan, this Sestina for a new octogenarian flies to a father from the keyboard of his eldest daughter, as if headed from the heart of Liverpool by a striker who moonlights for Norfolk. For there it all began, in Norfolk, where his parents met and married, a flat land of farmers, churches and artists, a quiet pool, muddied and churned by a war won at great cost, the loss to wife, son and daughter of a man with the gift of being a father. But though he never knew his own father, boarded in Sussex, he was nurtured in Norfolk and his roots grew deep there, a place his daughter loves too for its Boudican bluebells, wild coastal land and time spent with his mother and sister, neither one for flying far, happy to paddle in a rock pool at Runton. To him though, a small pool mirrored the world. His journey took him farther to London, Hong Kong, Toxteth, Saskatchewan, driven by the desire to empower hungry folk and prove no man or woman is an island, each of us, all our colours, a son or daughter, sister or brother. Now his younger daughter builds homes for others, her son a bright pool of her spirit and the soul of his father, the landman. Our 80-year-old dad's son is also a father, well settled in a city of fun, friendly folk, with a woman who's so clearly the one. After our jabs, we'll all gather in Saskatchewan. Father and children, grandsons and granddaughter. His sister will FaceTime with tales from Norfolk and Yorkshire. Sports pages will update the Liverpool saga. At last, we'll have cake to celebrate a father who taught his kids how to take off, where to land. For now, the Sask plains and fields of Norfolk are family runways in the land of a daughter whose poem pools love for our singular father. <laughs>